Hey, I'm Griff Little. And I'm Amanda Little, both, but most of you know us as Eli's mom and dad. We want to take just a minute and share a little bit about our journey with our diff differently abled son, Eli. So we have two boys, Grayson, who's in the fifth grade and 11 years old, and Eli, who's in the third grade and is nine years old. Eli is our little money brawl baby. He was born February 12th, 2013, which just happened to be Fat Tuesday. When he decided he was ready to come in this world, he came pretty quickly. And I think it was because he had a secret he wanted to let us in on. A few hours after he was born, the doctor came in and told us just what that secret was. And that was that Eli was born with an extra chromosome, an extra 21st chromosome, which we know as Down syndrome. Um, we felt very sad and unprepared, but we knew that God was teaching about his timing and that he had a plan for us. Little did we know that this little boy of ours was going to change our lives for the better. As a family, we enjoy um, going for boat rides, riding bicycles, playing on the beach. And Eli's personal favorite is family pizza night. Each of our family members uh, have, you know, found different things that like we have in common with Eli. And I think that's really cool because it's taught us that even, you know, with a special needs child, We've all got different things that we've got in common, and those are some of the things we really use to, you know, utilize that one on one time with him and, and work to do that on a consistent basis. Some of the best parts of being Eli's brother are just seeing him getting excited about the little things in life, like getting pizza, ice cream, or just going to see Christmas lights. Grayson, uh, who is Eli's older brother, is a really good example of we not me. Um, he has really embraced being Eli's older brother. And, you know, Grayson's really good about just some of the small things like helping him down the stairs, uh, helping him out of the car. And uh, he is also uh, really good with incorporating and involving uh, Eli when Grayson's in, in his circle of friends hanging out and, and letting Eli be a part of that. And you can just see the, the joy in Eli's face when he gets to, you know, kind of hang out with the big kids. He and Eli have a good time he, together. He makes Eli laugh harder than, than anybody else does, and it's just fun to watch. Play and be silly. Yeah, be brothers, just, wrestle around, yeah. um, be goofy. Grayson's favorite thing is to be goofy. Well, sometimes we like to, um, if we're on the bed and we're watching TV, he'll sometimes like just get on me and we'll just wrestle for a little bit. Eli and I love to go for golf cart rides. That's his favorite part of the day. Every day that we get home from school, he says, Mom, golf cart ride. Mom, golf cart ride. And he will not let up until we go on a golf cart ride. And Eli and I, he's kind of like one of my eating buddies. And we get to go out a lot of times and just have a one-on-one -on -one dinner and it's, it's a good time. I would say the hard parts are like basically sometimes communication because sometimes he'll want something, but we don't know what he wants and he gets frustrated then we get frustrated and it's just all, and then we just all get mad at each other. One thing we've learned as a family is not to uh, limit what we, you know, what Eli's potential is uh, as, as he gets older. He is, uh, he's managed to surprise us almost every day on what he's able to learn and, and what he's able to do. I just want them to know that they may be different, but that doesn't mean you can't hang out with them, get to know them, or just do other stuff with them. I know for me personally, Project Outreach means a lot to our family. Having both of our boys in the club, we get to see it from two different perspectives from each side of the point. With Eli, there's inclusion and building new friendships and just feeling a part of something. That, that side kind of speaks for itself, but for Grayson and his typically able peers, I think they may get just a little bit more out of it. I know when I was young, all the way through high school, I never knew anyone with special needs, never interacted with anyone with special needs, and really they felt kind of secluded and just became a page in the yearbook for me. But fortunately, with Project Outreach, this is all it has, uh, has all changed. Um, these kids now at such an early age get to learn about awareness and acceptance. They get to build friendships with people that they may think are a little bit different from them. But I think in the end, they learn that we're more alike than we are different. And for this, I will forever be grateful for Project Outreach.